So I just want to show you two more string methods here. Now, there are loads of different things you can do to manipulate strings. I'm just showing you some of the ones I use the most commonly. So I'm going to go through about two in each video. Um, but there are there must be 30 or 40 different options you've got within Python. It's just a lot of them I've never used. Um, but I will explain later on where to find all the information about everything that's available for when you need it. So one of them that's quite common for me is, is dot strip. Now I use this uh, especially when working with files, but what it does is it can get rid of any spaces that I have either side of my string. So not within the middle. So if, for example, I did um, print name, when I run it, you can see I've kept all of these spaces here, which I don't really want. So if I do dot strip, and then open and close brackets, when I run it, it's got rid of all these spaces for me. Now that might seem quite meaningless at this point, but it's very much worth remembering this is there. Um, to show you another example of what you can do with it, if I go back to the website thing, where I did, um, I won't do it all, I'll just do a simpler one. So I'll do google.com. You can pass things in here that you want it to remove. So if I remove .com, obviously at the minute, it's linked to name, so that's relatively useless. But if I change this to website, you can see it's removed the .com. So it looks for anything that's in here on either side and it will remove it. So if I did .com, google.com, when I run it, you can see it's still Google because it's got rid of it from both sides. Okay, so that's dot .strip, really, really useful and especially useful later on. The other one, is uh, the upper and lower, which is, I think, really useful for taking inputs. So if I print, just to show you how it works, name.upper, and I'll do the same and print.lower. It just changes it all to either uppercase or lowercase. Now, the reason I use this quite a lot is if you imagine you're asking somebody to input their name or obviously that might not know their name you input in a password let's say to input uh, please enter password and let's imagine we wanted the password to be a b c d e f okay we could say if change that to pw if pw dot upper is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. Print. Correct. Else. Print. Wrong. Okay, so now we're using dot upper to make this validation a little bit better because if I enter the password, I only enter A, B, C, D, E, F. So you see I've got a complete mix of uppercase and lowercase. When I press run, sorry, do it again. A, B, C, D, E, F. When I press enter, it's saying correct because it's actually turned it all to uppercase before it's done the comparison. So it's comparing the uppercase version of what I typed in to the capitalized version there. And this is incredibly useful. If you imagine you're doing a quiz and you're asking for capital cities and things, some people might start them with a capital letter, which would technically be right. But do you want to penalize people if they forgot to start with a capital letter? Or are you going to have to write every different version of it? Um, using dot upper and lower will make your life a lot easier for things like that.